The Voyager spacecraft has been flying through the deep reaches of space for more than 40 years now while exploring everything it flies by. That's a long time even for a spacecraft, and in that time, Voyager has stumbled upon some mind-blowing discoveries. It answered some questions, raised some new ones, and dove deeper and deeper into space, moving ever further away from our planet. So how have these spacecraft lasted so long while flying through the cosmos? And what is Voyager's newest and most shocking discovery? In this video, you're going to see the incredible images and discoveries found by the Voyager spacecraft. It is important to remember that Voyager is actually two spacecraft, Voyager 1 and its sister craft Voyager 2. Both of them are on the same mission, although their paths are wildly different. These two sisters are not racing hand in hand through the cosmos. Instead, they are great distances away from one another in order to cover more ground and also make more stark discoveries. One of the most stunning images Voyager sent to us was also one of its first. Back in 1981, Voyager 2 sailed past Saturn and scooped up so much information that it really changed how we view the massive planet. You see, Voyager 2 was preceded by its sister craft, Voyager 1. Voyager 1 flew by Saturn in 1980, and the second spacecraft was not far behind, making its way around the planet on August 26, 1981. The first flyby gave NASA a good hard look at Saturn, which already gave them an immense amount of data, such as detailed structure in Saturn's rings. But more than anything, it gave NASA ideas of what to look for with the second flyby that Voyager 2 would embark on just months later. Those ideas gave much greater focus and purpose to Voyager 2's flyby, and the images it sent back were a much closer look at those rings. In particular, the narrow Altimus F ring was a specific spot that NASA wanted to get a closer look at. It got so close and personal with Saturn that it was able to notice detailed kinks and braids in the rings. Before Voyager 2's visit, many thought that the rings of Saturn would be bland, fairly straightforward, and predictable. But it didn't end up being like that at all. Instead, it was uncovered that the rings are actually detailed, dynamic, intricate structures. In other words, Voyager was able to really paint a picture of Saturn and its rings, a breathtaking picture. And the discoveries Voyager made about Uranus were even more stunning. In early 1986, just a few years after its flyby of Saturn, Voyager flew by the seventh planet from the Sun, Uranus. It snapped a slew of wonderful images and transferred them back to Earth, giving scientists a remarkable look at the mysterious ice giant. The glimpses taken by Voyager cast light on two new rings around the planet and eleven undiscovered moons. It also gave insights into just how cold Uranus is, how does negative 353 degrees Fahrenheit, or negative 213 degrees Celsius. Sound to you. Years later, NASA took another look at the images from Voyager and discovered that the spacecraft actually flew through the plasmode, which is a giant structure of a planet's magnetic field. That's quite a feat for Voyager. Uranus was on Voyager's list of planets to visit because, frankly, it's an odd world that we still don't know much about. The planet spin axis is tilted by 98 degrees, which means that it spins on its side, unlike any other planet in our solar system. As Voyager continues to sail along, it gets further and further away from Earth, and that's a good thing. That's because one of Voyager's main goals was to look at our own solar system from the outside. 
when the spacecraft was first launched. It wasn't known if interstellar travel like this was possible, or if Voyager could even survive such a long trek across the cosmos. Well, it survived all right, and it's definitely gone the distance. Both Voyager 1 and 2 have now made the leap into interstellar space, meaning they are now sending back images and data from far, far beyond our own cozy solar system. Both spacecraft passed what's known as a heliosphere back in 2011 and 2018, respectively. The heliosphere is essentially a bubble or boundary that the sun creates around it and its closest planets. Solar wind jettison from the sun intacts with wind coming from deep within interstellar space, creating the heliosphere bubble that protects Earth and the rest of the solar system from damaging cosmic rays. Now that the voyages are beyond that point, it means that any images they take will be able to give us a perspective of our own solar system that we simply didn't have before. Even though it's so far away and it's been in space for such an incredibly long time, Voyager is still startling scientists with its new findings. Recently, a new study reported a new signal discovered by Voyager, more specifically, discovered by the plasma wave system on board the spacecraft. What was first seen as a slight hum was actually a plethora of data that scientists pawed over. Going through these results, the team was able to obtain a new measurement of the density of the mix of molecules, atoms, and ionized gas that fills the space between our stars. It was the first continuous measurement of the density of plasma, and it came years and years after the craft was first launched into space. All this time later, and Voyager is still doing incredible work. When it's all said and done, there is just so much that Voyager and its team should be proud of. Back in 1979, at the start of its journey, Voyager 1 took nearly 19,000 images of Jupiter, while Voyager 2 snapped 33,000 more just a few months later. These were the best shots we had ever seen of Jupiter and its five major satellites, that set the tone for what Voyager could achieve. But perhaps its most impressive picture isn't of some distant planet or object, but is instead of us. The pale blue dot image has been studied by scientists all over the world and gives us a very good idea of just how minuscule and insignificant Earth is in the grand scheme of things. The shot was taken more than 4 billion miles from home and makes our planet look like a tiny blue speck in the middle of nothingness. In fact, Earth was only 0.12 pixels in size. The pale blue dot shot definitely puts things in perspective and gave a slight idea of just how vast the universe is. But it's only one of the many jaw-dropping pictures the spacecraft has sent us since taking off from Earth back in the 70s. Voyager 1 and 2 were tasked with taking images and answering some major questions, and they have done just that. Because of the work of Voyager, we now know so much more about the stars that surround us and the planets that reside in our solar system. Forty years on, and Voyager is still doing hard work. The next time you look up at the night sky, don't forget that the Voyager spacecraft are looking right back at you, 14.5 billion miles away.